welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Alicia and I share beauty and lifestyle videos here on my channel. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. But for today's video, I'm gonna be vlogging a super fun influencer night. So if you wanna follow along with me, then just keep watching. Welcome back to a, another vlog. It has been forever since I've done a vlog. I think the last one I did was Vlogmas. And that's in December, so that was six months ago. I can't believe it's been that long. But I'm gonna try really hard to do at least one a month because I really enjoy doing them. I feel like it's a really good way for y'all to get to know me a lot better. I'm real in all my videos, but vlogs are just more casual and laid back. And I feel like it's just more real life where in my sit down videos, when I'm in front of my backdrop and all that, I try to be a little bit more professional. So I just feel like I can let my personality show through a little bit more in vlogs, if that makes sense. So obviously I am in the car. I'm on my way to Chattanooga. In case you're new here, I live in Tennessee and I'm really excited. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous because I think this actually might be my first Chattanooga influencer event I've been to. I usually go to ones in Knoxville, but I actually haven't been to any in a while. So I'm excited to maybe meet, meet some new influencers and vloggers in the Chattanooga area. So it is at No Baked in, I'm outside of Chattanooga, obviously it's in Chattanooga, but it is like a edible cookie dough place. So I've actually never been, I've wanted to go, but I think it is like, kind of like a little ice cream shop, but it's cookie dough. So it's a cookie dough place. <laughs> but they have them in different areas. So there may be one close to you. There's also gonna be a local boutique there, as well as one of those welding jewelry businesses. So I am just so super excited to see these local Chattanooga businesses and give them some shout outs and just have a good time because I feel like I need it because this week has not been the best. And I mean, nothing bad has happened. I'm just being dramatic and TMI, but it's that time of the month. And I'm always extra emotional, extra irritable, my poor husband. And I don't know, I just feel like not everything, but I don't know. I just felt like it was one thing after another. I feel like I've already been talking, so I don't want to talk and bore y'all too much. But since I haven't done a vlog in a while, I feel like it's kind of a catch up vlog too. But I am definitely going to take y'all along with me at this event. Like I said, I'm kind of nervous. But surprisingly, since I've started vlogging, I've gotten a lot better at going places like by myself. Like before, I would never, or I'm not gonna say never, I would hardly ever go anywhere by myself. And once I started doing the events in Knoxville, I was like, you know what? I need this. I need to be around other vloggers, kind of pick their brain and it actually has paid off because I've made some really great friends. But yeah, I'm excited to hopefully connect with some Chattanooga vloggers and influencers and maybe I will find somebody who does YouTube as well because I'm not gonna lie, I have kind of been struggling lately just because I just love it so much and I'm so passionate about it so I want it to grow and I want to be able to do this full time as like my full time job and career. That is my goal. So I just want to make the best videos I can for y'all. So if you ever have any suggestions that you want me to do, let me know down below in the comments or you can even message me, email me. I always, always, always love hearing what y'all want to see. So I'm going to quit rambling and drive and I will see y'all when I get to Chattanooga. Look 
how stinking cute it is in here. They have these cute little lights. Y'all know I love pink. So these pink chairs are so dang cute. So I just got home from Chattanooga and y'all I had so much fun if you are in Chattanooga live close or around or even traveling through you have to stop at no bake cookie dough if you haven't already because number one it is so dang cute in there there are so many photo ops so if you need some cute Instagram pictures definitely go by there. They have that greenery wall with the neon sign. So the balloons aren't always there. Those are from Blow Up Chattanooga. So if you need any balloon arches or anything in the Chattanooga area, definitely check them out. I will link all of the businesses that were there down below in the description box. If y'all want to go check them out, I'll link their Instagram. And second, the cookie dough is so good and they have so many flavors. So they gave us a little goodie box with four different flavors and I'm actually gonna do a taste test here on camera so y'all can get my live first impression on them, on the flavors if I could talk. And the reason I know it's so good is because even though they gave us that little box, I was looking at all the flavors they had and filming them and everything. And I saw this brownie batter and I had to get it because it looked so good. And y'all, I already ate some of this. It is so, so good. You have to really love chocolate. It's pretty rich, but thankfully they have lids so you can take it with you. And I can't remember how long they said, but these last, I think a few weeks in the fridge. And it is, of course, edible cookie dough. And you can also make them into cookies as well so definitely check them out and I'm not going to taste test this one because I already tried it and absolutely love it I just love that they did this for us that was so so sweet so thank y'all so much for this and there were two other businesses there besides the blow at Chattanooga so that's kind of three businesses but I will talk about the other two well let me go ahead and talk about the two other businesses really quick before I dive into this cogito so one was a super super cute clothing boutique I have got to go by their store because it looks like me it is all pink and colorful and so dang cute and they have these beaded lipstick earrings that I might need to get my hands on unless they're already sold out but they just had so many cute things it's called disco clothier I think is how you say it I hope I'm not butchering it but once again I will link everybody down below definitely check them out so all of these businesses actually I'm not gonna say all but I know the no baked and then the disco is all around the Fraser area so the other business is, the other business I don't know why I can't talk today the other business is Jonesy wood welded bracelets I don't know if y'all have heard about these but you pick out which chain you want and you could do like a bracelet I think you could do a necklace to ankle bracelet and they weld it on so they figure out how big you want it how loose how tight and then they actually weld it while it is on your wrist 
How cool is that? And they are real gold chains, so they are going to hold up really well. And I just think that is so cool. So I didn't do one just because... I don't know. I don't really wear a whole lot of jewelry. I wear my wedding rings and my Apple watch, sometimes a necklace. So I don't know that I would want something on all the time, to be honest with y'all. But it is so cool and they looked so pretty. But if that is something that interests you, I think it is so cool and she was doing it there. Definitely check them out. But enough rambling. I feel like I've started rambling. Let's try some of this cookie dough. I don't know what to try first. I think I'm going to save the one I think I might like the best for last. So they have just classic chocolate chip. Oh, losing the chocolate chip. They've kind of gotten a little soft on my journey home. Really good. So, yeah, if you're someone who likes eating cookie dough, I've always heard it's bad to eat raw cookie dough. Obviously, this is edible kind. I don't know if that's true or not. Do any of y'all know? I do anyway. So, if you're one of those people, definitely try this place out. So good. And there's other ways to get it, too. Like, you don't have to just get it in these containers. You can get like one scoop, two scoop, maybe three scoop. And then of course they have bigger size containers. And then they also have where you can get it in like ice cream cones or cookie dough cones. So, so many different ways to get it. So this next one is confetti sugar cookie. Look, it's even cute. That one's good too. Actually, these next two might be a tie. This one is mini M&M's. I love M&M cookies. But I don't know. I think I think the next one might be my favorite. I really like that one. So the base kind of tastes like the chocolate chip. And then instead of chocolate chip, it has M&M's. If that makes sense. Okay. I think this might be my favorite Lucky Charms and look you can actually see like the marshmallows and like the little puffs. I am pretty excited to try this one. So it kind of took a second for this one because I don't know if all the colorful things are the marshmallows or if the marshmallows have kind of melted into the dough and it took a second to get something chewy and I think the chewy things might be the little puffs. So I couldn't really taste a whole lot of the marshmallows but once I got like the little puffs really good. So they do have a lot of different flavors and they will let you try little samples. And I tried a s'mores one and that was really good. It has like melted marshmallow cream or marshmallows on top. So I think out of the six flavors I've tried, the brownie batter is my favorite because I would say brownies is probably one of my favorite desserts. So this one is definitely my favorite, but I seriously liked all the ones I tried. So I don't think there would be a bad one, but definitely go and check them out and check out all the flavors. I can't remember if I mentioned this or not, but they do have dairy free options. So I love that. And while you're in the area, check out those other businesses I mentioned. But yeah, I really hope that y'all enjoyed following along with me today. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I don't have anything else to say except thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next video.